Hey. Hi. Yeah, it's Jim and Sharon with Drive to Ride, and if you have subscribed to this channel, we want to tell you how much we appreciate that. Thank you. If you have not subscribed to it, we'd like you to go ahead and push please. the button and please do that, and I'll tell you why. If we can get to 100 subscribers, we can get our own URL, and that would make life a little bit easier for us, so if you would please subscribe, we'd sure appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thanks. <laughs> Jim and Sharon, just the two of us. Yeah, and we're going to talk about why we picked this particular unit. We said earlier in another video that we are in a Grand Design 297 RSTS, which is a travel trailer. And we've also talked about how that we all ride a motorcycle, and the motorcycle travels in the bed of our F-350. Cool. A lot of folks wonder, well, why didn't you just get a toy hauler and carry the motorcycle in the back of that and we actually considered it no, well, one, mm -hmm. I didn't like it she, well yeah <laughs> on consideration we decided we, we really didn't like it I didn't want a motorcycle in my kitchen I didn't want to smell rubber and fumes and motorcycle so I nixed it yeah yeah, yeah the <laughs> what we what we determined now we we've been in uh, RVing and camping for a long time and one of the things that we've come to remember is that uh, the longer the rig is, uh, the more things you have to keep in mind. So shorter is generally better. And when we first started looking for a, a, a way to live on the road, we set a limit of about 30 feet was the, all the, all the, the uh, uh, towable length that we wanted to have with our truck. Uh, we So we were looking at that and the idea of putting a a motorcycle in a 30-foot unit would mean, as Sharon was saying, that the motorcycle would wind up in the living area, and we really didn't like that. So there are uh, toy haulers that uh, have separate units, uh, separate nice. areas. Real sweet. They're so very, very nice. Very uh, Grand easy. Design makes them uh, both. In, well, makes them in the in the momentum and in the solitude line. Yep. Um, the uh, problem with them, though, is now we're getting very long. Now we're yeah. upwards to 40 feet. So, and again, we didn't want to be pulling anything that long. So, when we started looking for our home on wheels, we started with looking at manufacturers, and we uh, spent probably 18 months just reviewing specs and comments and experiences, talking to people, and we settled on the Grand Design uh, manufacturer as, uh, as our choice. From there, considering what we just said about uh, fifth wheels and toy haulers. We knew we were going with a travel trailer and uh, There's a couple of different lines to look at all of them are good units, but we wound up going with the reflection line and uh, Among the various floor plans that are available. This was the one that uh, that we liked the best It <laughs> combined. It. Yes, she did. <laughs> well, we both did it, it, it was pretty obvious that from our, our style of living uh, this floor plan met two things. There was enough storage and there was also a nice way to have people in to talk because one of the things that we enjoy doing when we're out is is having people over and uh, the, uh, the the floor plan we have here, the seating area, and we've talked about this in another, I'm going to look down here to see what my shot is because I'm going to pick this up to show what it is <laughs> behind us. Uh, as you can see, I get it my rights and lefts, there are uh, they're seating on a 90 degree angle so two or three people can be sitting in the back and two people can be sitting in these recliners back up here and with that it's very easy to have conversation in here and actually because of the two opposing slides uh, we can actually bring out additional chairs and uh, we can get uh, uh, a number of people in here we've had we've had uh, like six or eight people in here at one time and that has worked out very well. Yeah, you have the kitchen chairs, and we have a little rolly 
thing to sit on. And I like the fact that the TV was opposite the uh, Lazy Boys. So many of them have where the TVs are on the side. You have to watch TV like, you know, and that, that would bother my neck. So I, I think I like looking straight on TV. So that was another reason, too, I like the mm -hmm. plan. Yeah, this particular unit has a few options. One of them is the dining room table instead of the, uh, the banquette. Mm -hmm. uh, we like that so that we can pull the chairs out and use them to sit around. Um, and the other one is it's wired for a 50 amp service, so we yeah. have two air conditioners. One of them is running right now, I just yeah. realized. So I'm not sure what that's going to do to our audio, so maybe we'll, we will, uh, maybe we'll discover it's going to be fine, I hope. Otherwise, we have to do all this again. <laughs> one more time. One more time, exactly right. It's okay. But at any rate, that's all we got for today. So uh, thanks for being with us, and we'll see you again later. Howdy, partner. Now you come along for the ride, and you come and subscribe, and, you know, thumbs up, hit that bell, 